Hi everybody, welcome to the Manifold channel. Today we're going to take a look how to make casual measurements in Manifold System Release 9. Uh, we're going to learn how to measure areas. And uh, what we've got here is, uh, we're looking at is a typical Release 9 project. It has a map that we've popped open. The map has two layers. One is a drawing layer that has parcels. Now that happens to be an orthographic projection. And uh, the other one is uh, bank streets. And the other layer is bank streets. And this shows uh, part of a town in uh, Belgium. And what we'd like to be able to do is to uh, measure the uh, areas in square meters of the various areas here and perhaps to draw them. For example, to draw, find out what the uh, areas of this rectangle enclosed by, by streets. Uh, and we'd like to do that without having to, uh, you know, create a, uh, alter the uh, schema of the parcels layer to create a computed fields or anything, uh, or anything like that. What we have in mind is something like the uh, draw path tool where we can just uh, click here and uh, as you can see, as you click the draw path tool, it gives us a readout of the total length of the path and the bearing to the last layer, which uh, changes as we move that around. I'm going to clear that path and uh, go back to the default uh, cursor layer. And the easiest way to do all this is that if we're working with uh, with Manifold is that what people typically do if they measure, do a lot of area measurements, they, they create an archive project somewhere where they have bits and pieces of uh, different things that they work with. and. Here is a drawing called Measure Areas together with its table that we've created. There's also a labels uh, component as well. And uh, we have that in an archive uh, project. will pop up in the archive project. Just copy that, highlighting those uh, all those components of the control click, and then click copy, then move here to the uh, projects they're working with and click paste. And now we just added that uh, drawing. And that drawing, a Measure Areas drawing, which we can drag and drop into the map, uh, is blank. It doesn't have anything in it, but it does have some infrastructure already built into it. In particular, it has a table built into it. Let's click open that table where there's an area field. And that's a computed field which uses the geom area geo function to uh, compute the geodetic area, that's the area computed over the ellipsoid, and give the results in square meters for any areas that we create in that object, in that, uh, in that drawing layer. And the drawing's been formatted so that it makes it convenient for us to do work in it. So if we want to measure the area, of say this square right, rectangle right there. We click on the measure areas drawing to put move the focus there. Click create area. And then uh, we uh, create the area just as if we were drawing a path. Click save changes. And there we've created the area. If we want to know what the area is in it, we just alt click it. And to uh, that gives us the values and that's the area. 6709.40 6, square meters. Uh, another way of uh, getting that area result is also to uh, use the labels component that I copied over, drag and drop that. And what the labels component does is it simply uh, uh, reports the uh, value of the uh, area, computer area field. Uh, and that actually makes for a very convenient way of uh, working with uh, areas. Uh, suppose we want to know the area of this parcel right there in, in the parcel layer. We click in the parcel layer to make it active, uh, control click the parcel to select it, click Control C or choose Edit, Copy, you know, whether you prefer keyboard shortcuts or the menu, that's your choice. Uh, I'm going to turn off the uh, selection with Shift Control A. And then I'm going to click here into Measure Areas, click Edit Paste or click Control V. And there, what I've done is I've copied the parcel out of the parcels layer and I've, that, I've copied that area out of the parcels layer and I've pasted it into the Measure Areas layer. Because the Measure Areas layer is formatted so that uh, Let's uh, go here to the measure areas layer and look at the look at style. It's styled so that the area, the fill color for the area is uh, transparent, and the border of the area is that green and black. Uh, that that lets any new areas that we create in the measure areas drawing um, stand out over top of uh, the parcels layer that's below them. And if you don't like this particular color that I've used, well, you can use whatever you want. You can format it using bright blue and white, or you know whatever you want. Um, and what's cool about this, if this about this technique, is that uh, unlike the tracker tool, which can only do one track at a time, let's say we want to compare a variety of areas here, and uh, we want to get a bunch of them, and let's do uh, let's do one more like that. And let's do this one here, and, and now I can click Edit, Copy, come here to Measure Areas, Edit Paste, and there they all are. I'm going to turn off the all the uh, uh, selection on the parcels layer. So you can see simultaneously we can get all these different areas in the measure areas layer and get the readouts for how big the areas are for each one of them. Uh, what else is cool about this is that we can open the, um, let's open the table for that. 
So you can see a, rec a recording, an actual value for each of these parcels. Normally, of course, parcels would have some sort of, you know, other fields like parcel ID and that sort of thing. Uh, but this is kind of like a simple case. And what we can do here, oh, let's, let's open that table again, open table. If we want, we can uh, click Control A, select all of them, click Control C to copy all of them. And now uh, let's go here into uh, Notepad, click Control V, and there, we've just uh, copied all the uh, data from for all these different parcels. So that's uh, that makes it very easy to uh, get data from multiple parcels. And I'll deselect those here. Uh, that makes it very easy to, to uh, get data from multiple parcels and to uh, share it in, in, or to pipeline into the other applications. If I want to get tired of all the different areas that I put into this measure areas layer, that's no big deal. I can clear it just by doing clicking that tab to uh, put the focus there, click Control A to select all of them, choose Edit, Delete, Delete Selected Areas there, and I've now cleared that measure areas uh, layer, so it's, it's ready to go again. So how hard was it to create this uh, measure areas uh, drawing that I'm using as basically as a measurement tool? Well, it's really easy. Let's go back to the archive here, and let's create a new one from scratch. That's easy to do. I just click uh, Create, New Drawing, and let's call this uh, New Measure. And the only key thing is the coordinate system, I want to create it with latitude and longitude. And I create drawing. There, I've done that. And uh, off screen, I'm going to a different uh, screen where I've got the uh, user menu open. And I've just copied the definition for, GIF for the computer field of geodetic area. And now what I'll do is I'll click the new measure table open. Here, I'll click Edit Schema. I'm going to add a field called uh, Area. I'll leave it float 64. And for the expression, I'll add that expression, which I copied over from the uh, from the user manual documentation. Uh, I never bother remembering things, which I can easily copy and paste. So that's how that's done. Click OK. Click Save Changes. And then what I'll do is I'll, I'll format this right off the top. I'll style it rather right off the top. And I'll use uh, this style, and I'll put two digits past the decimal point. Great. And... Uh, so now I've created a new measure drawing, and uh, I'll work with this map here, which I created earlier, which has big street maps. So let's go to location, which is uh, near the Louvre in Paris. This shows the Jardin de Tuileries with my terrible French accent. And uh, I'll add the new measure drawing to that, and let's uh, start measuring some stuff here. So for example, let's, measuring what, let's measure what that section is, create area, and uh, let's measure that. Click, click, click 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 uh, save changes and uh, to see what that it is I'll click lock that and you can see that that's what the area that of that uh, square is now I this is using default formatting it's easy enough to change the default formatting for the style area we're going to change that like this we're going to make the uh, I'll click here into the uh, whole whole style and what I'll do is I'll make that transparent I'm going to make uh, uh, the border, let's click at uh, three dashes uh, with uh, two points in between the dashes. Let's put a halo in there. And for the halo, I'll use a bright green color. And the padding, I'll make it uh, like 0.1. So that ought to be good enough. And that's the effect that uh, I think we used in the other drawing to demonstrate it. But like I say, you can you know you can change that to be uh, whatever you want. You can make it bright blue or you know however you like it. So it's that easy to create that kind of a uh, drawing that we're going. Oh, and and of course, let's let's put let's put some labels on. Let's create labels, and it's going to be new measure areas. We're going to use the area thing. Create labels. Now, when I drop the labels thing in, you can see it does that by default. Let's style the labels, and uh, click here. And what we'll do is uh, click more, and to style it, mm, let's put a halo on it under it. Let's make the halo white, and let's make a padding of two. Click OK. And click apply. Actually, to see how we like that. Yeah, we like the way that looks. Click OK. And there. And uh, that's how I uh, that's how I did all this. So it's uh, it's not hard to do to create this little drawing that you're going to use over and over and over again for years if you want. Just keep it in the project someplace that you've saved. Click here to save. So we save that. And then whenever you want to do area measurements and uh, drawings and manifold, just click that and copy that drawing, paste it into what you're doing here. And uh, voila, you've got the... Uh, you know, you got the whole thing uh, done exactly the way you want it, uh, and it'll report areas to you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This is a very simple technique. It's kind of an example of how you can uh, combine 
you know, functionality from various different parts of uh, Manifold Release 9 and make it do whatever you want. Uh, so uh, enjoy. And uh, if, if you enjoy the video, tell your friends. And uh, goodbye from Manifold Land. Well, that was fun. Uh, if you want to see more, visit us at www.manifold.net. Uh, as always, Manifold delivers the world's most advanced, highest quality spatial products for GIS and DBMS at a low price that you can afford. Once again, that's uh, manifold.net. See you soon.